Okay, how are you guys doing? This is um, this is Mike Johnson here coming from the Health and Health Clinic Pharmacy. And this is the last video of our lecture series in regards to inputting, calculating, and um, dispensing patent medications. But again, this one focused more on inputting the correct script, post-calculating the correct dose. So this last this last video will be our inhalers. So um, so this will be our inhalers. And I didn't save them separately as, as individual pages on the PDF, so I apologize about that. But again, we should be able to scroll in here and see exactly what they are. Hopefully, this shows up on your screen. I'll, I'll, um, I'll zoom in on it so that way we can at least see the prescription. So, uh, so we're going to input this prescription for our test patient. So I already have the test patient profile pulled up. But what I'm going to do before is, I, as I said, I wanted to show you guys how we can check the drug and the quantity of it, even if we don't know what it is offhand. I'm going to open drug inventory module, and I'm just going to type ProAir. And notice what pops up. I get two different pro errors that pop up, and I don't see any difference on this, so I'm just going to choose one of them. I'm going to choose 22. And notice here it gives you a package size of 8.5. That means for every one inhaler that we give, we're going to have a package size of 8.5, which is exactly what we calculated. We said there's going to be 8.5 grams per one inhaler, and we wanted three inhalers, so that'll give us a package size, I mean our quantity of 25.5. So that shows us what we can do with some of these. Let me go ahead and I'll pull up in, for example, Tudorza. Tudorza. Tudorza is another inhaler. Notice this one only has one gram. For every one gram, there's going to be a package quantity of one. That's a special one. Let's say that I wanted to pull open Asminex. Asminex is another is another inhaler. Notice here there's 7, 14, 30, and 60. I'll just pick on the 60 one. And notice here this is another one that doses 1 to 1. So this is another one that doses 1 to 1. I'm going to search another one. I'm going to search for Dulera. These are all inhalers. You can search them as you so see fit. And there's a couple different doses. I'm going to choose the 200 to 5 dose. And notice this one, for every one that I dispense, I'd have to input a value of 13. So I'm going to try one last one. I'm going to try Ventol, as I told you before, Ventolin. Oh, let's try Proventil. Proventil. So notice here, for every one Proventil that's given out, which is another form of the, of the albuterol, which is the same thing as Proair and the same thing as Ventolin, you're going to give out a quantity of 6.7. So again, hopefully we, we practice this and practice understanding what all these little these little um, these little definitions here, these little words mean together. So how they describe the drug, the quantity, the mass, the concentration, the description, all of that together hopefully comes together and makes some sense for you. But for right now, we're going to input a prescription for this pro air. So oh, I don't want to add a patient. Apologies. So I don't want to add a patient. I'm going to just add a prescription. So I have to come over here to scripts. And in this circumstance, I want to add a new prescription. So I'm going to add a prescription. And I recognize here that this was Dr. York that wrote the prescription. I'm going to type Y-O-R-K. And I hit enter and she's the only York that's in there. So we're good to go. So now I type in pro air. And notice what populated was in inhale two to four puffs by mouth every four hours is needed for shortness of breath. And notice she only wanted one to two puffs. So we're going to have to change this from a two to four to one to two. But everything else, puffs by mouth every four hours needed for shortness of breath. And everything else is exactly, um, exactly the same thing. So again, always check to make sure that the correct SIG has been populated. So I put one to two puffs by mouth every four hours as needed for shortness of breath. That's what populated, and that's what she had here. So now I have to put in a little star so I can indicate that's a PAP and I tab down. My prescribed quantity will be 25.5. Will be 25.5. And yes, you can actually have this 0.5 because remember, each one of these inhalers, each one of these inhaler cartridges has 8.5 grams. So if they send you three of them, they actually did send you a half of a gram. They sent you 25 and a half grams of the albuterol sulfate. This will last for 90 days, and the prescription refills will be three. Hopefully, with this SIG, they will give us all three. They may not. They may. I'm not sure. But hopefully, we've requested three, 
inhalers by by indicating the 25.5. Hopefully Teva gives us all three. So now I've checked it and rechecked it. I feel confident in my prescription. I feel safe with this. Um, the SIG is followed correctly. The drug is correct. Provider's correct. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And I know um, originally I didn't I didn't and indicate on the first video that she wanted five inhalers. That's wonderful that she wanted five inhalers. However, we can only get three. That's the max that's allowed by Tema. So I'm going to scroll over here to our, our next one. So notice here, this is our Advir, 500 per 50. So I'm going to go ahead and open my drug inventory module. And I'm going to search for Advir to see what the units are that we're going to look at. So notice here it's 500 per 50 and I see the 500 per 50 so I'm going to double click on this one that's the only one I have of that strength and I double click on it and notice the package size is 60. It is 60 which is what we thought it was and again I've done this a couple times so I, I'm very familiar with the package size of a lot of these and as you work with them more and more frequently you will also become just as familiar. This may seem slightly overwhelming now but again it will become second nature after a while. So, um, so now we realize that our, our, our quantity was correct. Our quantity was correct because originally we hypothesized six blister, pa six, six blister packs per inhaler and we're going to have six blister packs per inhaler. So, um, so that's, that's how this will work. So I feel comfortable and confident in my calculations. So now I'm going to add a new prescription and the provider here is no longer Dr. York, now it's Dr. Ewart. So I'm going to replace York with Ewart and I'm going to click on the Ewart. Notice here I'm going to type in Advir and OK. I have the four that populated again, the four different dosages. I want to make sure that I choose the correct one, so I'm going to have 500 per 50. And notice it says use one halation by mouth twice, two times daily. Two X's daily. That puffs already. Notice it was inhale one puff, inhale one inhalation, PO by mouth, BID, which is twice daily. And that's exactly what the SIG was that I wanted to be on there. This is a very common SIG. Inhale one puff by mouth twice daily. And if you want to, you could say inhale one inhalation. If you can want to say one puff, either one is fine. Um, it's, your, it's your discretion. Just make sure that the, the patient understands one puff two times daily. Not two puffs once daily, which is different. One puff twice daily. And again, we want to get as many Advir discus as possible for our patient. So we want a value of three of those discus, three of those inhalers. So that will be a quantity of 180. So I'm going to put in here 180. My supply days will be 90. And refills will be three. And that's exactly what I want. Refills three, days were 90. So I feel comfortable and confident that this is the correct prescription for the patient. I'm going to have someone come check it just to make sure I'm on the right page. I'm going to hit save and I am happy with this outcome. So now I've input these two prescriptions for, um, for, my, uh, for my inhaler series, and this concludes the process of calculating and inputting the scripts of our PAP medications. This is so important and it's so crucial that we do this correctly every single time. There is no opportunity for a mistake because the time it takes to process one application is a very high amount of, of labor hours. And if there's an error, the drug companies will shoot the application down faster than you can blink. And many times they don't even inform us that they shoot the application down. They just say, oh, we, didn't, we couldn't complete it because it was not correct. So if you have questions, ask and re-ask to make sure that you feel comfortable and confident with submitting this for our patient. Because now you are handling their lives, you are handling their care, you are handling their future, all within all within your abilities to calculate and tabulate. So this concludes our series. Again, my name is Mike Johnson. If I can ever help you, please let me know. My, uh, my cell phone number is a 786 area code 586-8214. And my email is mjohnston at healthandhopeclinic.org. Have a good one.